Good afternoon and welcome to the Division of Employment Securities webinar on the North Carolina Unemployment Insurance Tax System, referred to as NC Suits. I'm Larry and I'll be your moderator for today's session to discuss how to upload wage reports using the CSV file format in NC Suits. By now, I hope that those on the webinar have visited our website or have signed into the new NC Suits tax system. Now, let's take a look at today's agenda for today's short 30 minute program. I'm going to share some highlights of uploading files in this format, which will be followed by a demonstration. As you see on the agenda, we have allocated time at the end of our program for an interactive Q&A session with our subject matter experts. During this time, we encourage you to share your questions by typing them in the Q&A panel. Simply click on the three dots on the bottom right corner of your screen, then select Q&A to type in your questions. Please try and keep any questions to today's topic. Any questions asked during this session that are not already on the site will be added to the NCQ, NC Suits FAQ's webpage for future reference. Also, before we get started, we want you to know that this demonstration was created exclusively for training and informational purposes. All information used for this demonstration is fictitious. Before we begin the demonstration, let me highlight a few things that you may need to know about uploading files in this format. CSV is a new file format for DES. First quarter 2024 reports will require a FBIN number in the employer record of the CSV format for validation. CSV is the preferred format for large files. No punctuation or special characters are allowed. Partial hours are not allowed when reporting hours worked. A submitter record and an employer record are required in CSV format. If you're not providing information in non-required fields, please leave them blank. And first quarter reports are due by April 30th, 2024. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Lisa. She's going to go through some of the steps uh, for the process, and then she's also going to give you a live demonstration. Lisa, whenever you're ready. Good afternoon. Um, I will start by running through the understanding the NC Suits two step process for file upload and then uh, give you the demonstration after that. There is a validation performed during the upload step of a file being uploaded into NC Suits and after the file has been submitted and during the processing. If the file is rejected during the upload step, the upload box will turn red. And you would be you should be able to click on the error link to determine the corrections needed. Those are file upload error codes. And those are located on our website. When the reject when the rejected file has been corrected, upload the file again as an original wage report. When the file is, is accepted, you will receive a confirmation number on the screen and via email. And this is the first email you'll receive in this process. NC Suits then performs further data validation within the file to determine if the file can be processed and posted. After this validation, email number two is sent to notify if the file was processed successfully or rejected. Employer files are either processed or rejected. However, agent files containing multiple employer wage information can be partially processed. If the file is processed successfully, payment can be made. If the file is rejected, corrections are required. To de determine what your um, errors are, you would want to review your file processing errors using the options on the left panel of NC Suits and choose reports. Click the drop down error, and if you're an agent, you would click agent file submission report or employer file submission report if you're an employer. Enter the confirmation number of the file that you're trying to determine what is wrong with. Click view, and this will show you line by line what's wrong with that file. These are called file processing errors, and those are also located on our website. You'll then make the necessary corrections based on those error codes upload the file again as an original report. And as a reminder, the file submission report states only the rejected file should be uploaded again. So that's primarily for an agent's purpose. I will share my screen now. Give me 
just a second. The new CSB um, version for first quarter of 2024 requires that the federal ID number, the FEIN number, be included in each employer record. This is an agent record. An agent file with two employer records on here, and I've highlighted the area for which that federal ID number needs to be input into that file. Okay, we're now in um, in C suits, and what I wanted to show you is the process of uploading a wage file via CSV format and the types of the process in which the errors can be looked at and corrected in order to get the, the, the file uploaded for you. Step one is to, to successfully upload the file. Step two is to have it validated and um, accepted for, for processing. So I'm in a made up Agent 101 Incorporated employ, uh, agent account. I am going to go to wage submission and I'm going to look at the wage submission summary and I'm going to search for all confirmation numbers made by this agent. And I want to point out the status. 23 through 27 were rejected. 36623 through 33627 were rejected. The error message sitting here, FEIN number is invalid. It that is considered an upload, a file upload error. While these are pretty well explained, we do have on our website all file upload errors that you can refer to. Unless you get this past this process, you you're file has not been accepted from 36628 through 33635 these files have been accepted but they have problems within the validation that takes place after you submit the file the way in which you can look to see this one this one says partially processed um what we need to know is who processed and who didn't. So we're going to go to the reports main menu. We're going to scroll down and you're either going to click on agent file submission report or employer, whichever you are. You've got to be sure to use the confirmation number of the file that you are seeking to determine what the errors are. You're going to hit the view button. And that's going to load a report that identifies what's wrong with each. Employer in in this file, there were a total of 2 employers in the file. 1 process successfully with 5 social security numbers. 1 pro did not process. It was rejected with 3 social security numbers. Here's the 1 that was successful. Here's the 1 that rejected. Down below, here's the number that rejected, and here are what we call file processing errors. These are different from the submission errors, the upload errors that we just talked about on the previous page. These are about the, the contents within that file. These are also um, loaded onto our website uh, for file processing errors, or there will be by the end of the day. This this demonstration was to, to provide you a way so that if your file was not accepted and processed that you can research your errors and make corrections on those uh, for yourself. I'm hopeful this information is helpful to you as you file for the first quarter 2024. And I thank you, Larry, I'll turn it back over to you. As always, for more information, visit des.nt.gov forward slash NT suits. There's your technical assistance hotline number 919 296 1569.
Um, as always, before we leave, we want to remind you that this demonstration was created exclusively for training and informational purposes. All information used for this demonstration is fictitious. Also note that information on topics regarding tax registration, reporting payments and filing is based on current state law and is subject to change. Just once again, wanna say thank you for your excellent questions and for dedicating your valuable time to join us for today's webinar. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to assisting you in your NC Suits journey. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.